What if someone came up to you and said, hey, I have really good news for you. And you're, you're, oh, tell me, tell me, tell me. And they said, love God and love your neighbor. That's not good news. That's just something to do. Wait a second. But Jesus said, what are the most important commandments? Love the Lord your God as, with your whole heart and love your neighbor as yourself. He said, that's what the whole law and prophets, all of the Old Testament, this is a Hebrew Bible, this is the Old Testament in Hebrew. He says, this whole thing, the Old Testament hangs on those two commandments. Those are the two most important commandments. Love God, love people, love your neighbor. But that's not the good news. That's a good thing, that's a command we are to live under. But the good news is that Jesus has come. The good news is that the King, the Lord, the Sovereign One who gave these, the one who these commands came from His lips in the first place, the one who has the right over our lives, the authority over who we are, has come and taken you within Himself. He has taken His life and given it for you and then taken your life into His by His work on the cross. The good news is that you are forgiven forever, that you are loved and accepted forever, and that you can step into that. So actually, love God, love neighbor, maybe a simpler way I'd say that command, what I hear Jesus saying is, follow me. Jesus says to you, follow me. He says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. But he says the motivation here is that you're actually looking at me, at Jesus Christ, not Christian, you know, pastor speaking right now, but at Jesus himself. He says, if you love me, then you'll keep my commandments. If you don't love me, why would you keep them in the first place? You don't need more stuff to do. We've all got plenty of stuff to do, and I know some people are killing it right now in the quarantine season. They're working out more than ever, or they're cooking great meals or whatever, but most of us don't need another thing to do. What we need is a Savior who's good, who's patient, who's kind, and who just says, no, 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 come and follow me. And as you love me, as you fall in love with who I am and you learn what my love is for you, then you will find the strength and the joy and the vision, the perspective to be able to start obeying what I've asked you to obey. But it comes out of love, love first. Not our love for him, but the one who first loved us and gave his life for us. That's the good news. I love you guys. God bless you. Take this Devo with you today.